<laughs> hey, I'm MJ. And I'm Bree. Welcome to Keeping It Casual. A sex positive dating and relationship advice podcast. Yes, I'm married with two kids. But I'm navigating this crazy dating world. And we're just here to share our drama. And the wild stories of our listeners. Your Vegas girls are here for you. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Girl, I love seeing your face. This is why Zoom is the bomb right now. Yes, we're, we're virtually a podcast right now. <laughs> I know. Well, in today's episode, is actually part three of our Zoom cast. It's checking in with the babes. Today, we've got two of your favorite past guests. You met the first babe after our go-kart race downtown Las Vegas. Remember that one? <laughs> Where you kicked my ass? But I yeah. told you we were going to before we even started. I think yeah. you got a faulty one, though, and yours was going super slow. I was like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> my thing was, go- my cart was going super slow. I was like, pedal to the metal, and it was just like, burp, burp. I was like, boy, she's really taking it easy. I was like, yo. Anyways, her man owns the racetrack and she's actually a fitness entrepreneur and she's currently hosting free workouts online. And wait till you hear how quarantine has changed their relationship, actually. Like, it was really cool how she was just like, well, just listen. Yeah, Um, I know. I love the difference from their relationship then and now. So that's really Really and then funny. one of our favorite female voices on the Las Vegas airwave shares some of her ways to pamper herself at home, mm-hmm. some of her favorite beauty products, and what's keeping her strong during quarantine. I love that one of her favorites is actually something that you'd find in your kitchen. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, plus, we asked her for her top three rock songs because she's a badass rock and roll DJ. So, of yes. course. But first of all, big thanks to our partner, Like a Kitten, who want to empower women to explore their sexuality and mainstream masturbation by providing sexy subscription or single boxes filled with sensual products and always a motorized toy. Plus, May is National Masturbation Month. Did you guys know that? Did you? Did you? Did you? Every year I celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> we also have Mother's Day coming up and this is the great gift to give your favorite Taurus in your life. Oh, so yeah. send a sexy surprise box in the mail to your favorite babe because we've got you the hookup. Go to likeakitten.com and use code KEEPERS20 for 20% off. That's right, likeakitten.com KEEPERS20 and we'll have more info to share about what's in their boxes coming up. All right, so you ready for our first guest? Yeah! Okay, so by now, most of us can relate to like the ease and frustration of Zoom, like when your parents can work it, but for some reason you can't. It's like so maddening. So I left it in the part of us like trying to connect because- Oh God. (laughs) But MJ and I want to say a big thank you for our booty bands. Oh yeah. From episode 71, Feeling Myself, here is Michelle Davis Fitness. In a long-term relationship, you're not always going to be connected Mm -hmm. hip to hip. It doesn't have to always be perfect. Yeah. As much as everyone tries to visade it and make it perfect, I love the couples that are just like, well, fuck you, well, fuck you. (laughs) I love you, I love you. (laughs) Oh, let's have sex. Yeah. (laughs) It's like that rawness, just like, okay, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I relate hard on that. (laughs) Like, can you hear me? Can you- oh, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, we- I can't hear you. What do I do? <laughs> I can't hear you girls. You can hear me. This is so weird. You can hear us? I know. It's so annoying. I'm going to call you. You want to call? Unmute speaker. How about now? Can you hear me? Yes. I love it. You did it. Okay. <laughs> Michelle. I feel like I want to hug you girls. Can I hug? Hug it, yes. Hug. I felt it. <laughs> Slip us some tug. I love that. I know. I'm like, I don't know. I was feeling that Zoom hug. But you guys, back in action, she's always feeling herself because we feel the love. It is Michelle Davis Fitness. From the hey. Feeling Myself episode. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Bree. How you doing, sweetie? I'm doing hey. I'm in love. Girl, you are ripped. Okay, please start us off by like just telling us how you are still slaying the fitness game in quarantine. It's the one thing every morning I wake up, feed the birds, feed the dogs. And I'm like, okay, I got to pick my outfit. I got to do my makeup. Okay. And then it's like, right before I hit live, I'm like, what the F am I doing? Okay. This is day 31. And then afterwards, after I get all the good mornings and that was great. And I'm just like, yes, I got my mojo for the day this is great so do you go live on like tell us how you're doing it are you doing like a facebook live or instagram yeah so i decided like right as we were going into quarantine i was like okay what am i gonna do before i lose my shit so (laughs) i decided i would do a 30-day at-home fitness challenge for people who are missing the gym 
they're at home. They're like, what are we going to do? So I figured, okay, I'm going to use just body weight objects around the house. And then I started incorporating yoga. And then I thought about, I'm like, let's put some cool prizes in this. I want to get people like amped up. And so now that we're past the 30 day mark, I'm like, okay, I got to keep these people motivated. What I thought was, okay, after 30 days, you working out, your mind and your body connect. Everything's kind of dialed in. You're like, you really start seeing a transformation. And as a bodybuilder, my first month I was gaining weight. I was like, what the hell is this all about? I'm not seeing results. And I told people, Hey, second month, third month, you're going to start seeing the transformation. Mm -hmm. So now this 30 days, we're in day one of the transformation journey where I told ladies for a limited time while we're on quarantine, I'm going to do their meal prep. I'm going to do their health evaluations all for free. Oh, that's awesome. And I thought, okay, I'm going to continue with this 830 workout because a lot of ladies, they're like, if it wasn't for you, I'd still be in bed. I would, and, and there's this one, there's a couple girls, but there's one girl specifically that said, if it wasn't for you, I would be so depressed. And I feel like mentally we are all losing our marbles a little bit over here, yeah. wanting things to get back rolling into like being around people and that energy. Mm -hmm. And even today I was like, I am so effing bored. I mean, I just did a jiggy dance winning the, tr you know, the trouble game, you know, there's connect four and there's memory yeah. game. Okay. So <laughs> trouble is my game. And Jean and I were like, we're the most competitive people ever. And I was like in the living room dancing my ass off because I just won a board game. And I'm like, there's something wrong with me over here. <laughs> no, I feel like that's with everybody. Like we are going that shit crazy wanting to get back into our, our everyday lives. It's yeah. so getting the little things, but how can people jump on and work out with you, girl? Because I am seeing the results right now. Oh. Look at those shoulders. Ah! So every morning at 8.30, I jump on live on Facebook okay. and I like to focus on one or two specific things. So whether it's like just doing yoga and stretching mm -hmm. or if it's working the shoulders and the arms. Today we did the legs. We, and I like to talk about mindful things. So with this transformation thing, I like to bring out topics that we get to think about, like where our toughest critic, what are your plans after this? Where are you going to go? I talk about toxic people. I also like to talk about just nutrition and like alkalining the body and how important it is to get our rest because our adrenal glands are like on haywire from all this stress. Mm -hmm. uh, things like taking a probiotic, a digestive enzyme, like how to naturally balance your hormones, just stuff like I like to really dig deep mm -hmm. for it not to be all about fitness. It starts with the mind and then it starts cycling into, oh, okay, I want to feel good. This is what I need to do in order to do that because so much like I need to give back. And this was the one thing I thought, okay, my gym's closed down, mm -hmm. but I want to be creative. Believe it or not, it's weird. I've made more money during this three weeks than I have in like three months. Wow. I'm clients signing up with me, selling my booty bands and my resistant bands and all of yeah. my products, wanting to pay me for a health consultation. And I'm like, no, I want to give it for free because right now it's like, hey, more I give, more I get back. Good karma's on my side right now. Everybody wants that little bit extra. And you know what? Like now is the time for these online business, online things to shine. You know, people are thought like, yep. well, maybe I can teach or train from my home and do things like that. And just to tap into it right now and people need you more than ever is so smart. So I know you're going live on Facebook. What's the name so they can log in and find you? Michelle Roxy Davis, R-O-X-Y. Don't mm. forget the Roxy. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Foxy, so, Roxy. Yes. Yeah, so I definitely hear you're finding some silver linings in this whole thing. Is there little uh, other little silver linings besides finding your fitness community? My relationship and how much we were not spending enough time together and how much I love being bored with him, just looking at him. And I'm like, he looks at me and we're just like, want to play connect four. I double dare you all kick your ass. Just going for a drive down the strip every single night, walking the dogs every day. We, we never walk the dogs. Like, <laughs> I, was like I, remember you saying from your, I remember you saying in your episode that you wanted to be able to connect with him more because you mm -hmm. had thrown yourself so much into fitness, but yep. now it seems like you found that, that balance. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect thing ever. Just not the fact that it's like under the circumstances. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, but the fact that he is a workaholic, he had just opened the go-kart track on Fremont. Yeah. He was working literally 12 hours a day. So that's why I threw myself into bodybuilding. Cause I'm like, okay, well I went OCD and bought so much gym equipment in this house. <laughs> and that was the thing is like, okay, I went through some trials in my life. I, I wanted to grab deep into doing some kind of improvement and I found bodybuilding, but then he also saw opportunities as well. And, and we're like that. We're hustlers, we're entrepreneurs. We really yeah. put our all, but the one thing we weren't putting our all in was each other. And I swear, I told him, I was like, I kind of like this quarantine. Thing. <laughs> um, I'm just going to say our sex life is better. Yeah. Sex podcast. You can say it on here. Come on. <laughs> like to, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> like to yeah. celebrate this. This is some celebration. She's like, girl, the sex is on fire. It's like we're both <laughs> bored. I'm like, you want to take a bath? <laughs> Their little keyword and take a bath. I love so. that. Yeah, that's the one thing I love is is the quality of time now. And the funniest thing is, is now that I'm slowing down, I'm taking time to really appreciate the quality people in my life. Mm -hmm. And tr trust me, like true colors are coming out to where I see like they're just acquaintances. Yeah. They're good friends. Yeah. This time you really fall into people like the top five people you talk to on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. those people are like the deep deep relationships like right now shit's hitting the fan mm -hmm. so the people that are coming out of the woodworks that are showing their true colors that when it comes back to everyday ordinary you're gonna really be like yeah, yeah okay hi hi bye like yeah. you know what i mean and then the people that really really are in your life right now are the people that are gonna really truly stick around forever I, I agree with that. I've noticed myself, I'm reaching out to people that I haven't reached out to in a really long time just to be like, mental health check-in, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah. And it's really special when people do that. I've actually got some like cards in the mail from some of my girlfriends and that was like the sweetest thing in the world. Touched my heart so much. And even just to get a text and like me and Michelle had a beautiful chat last week and it was just like, how are you? I miss you. And I was like, oh my God. And sometimes you're just like, I've been thinking of this person and then they call you and you're like, ah, I miss you. Um, yeah, no, same thing though. Like one of my very good friends, she dropped off a care, like a little Easter basket for me on my porch. She like oh. left it there and I didn't even know it was there. And I was like, I, I was so touched. I cried. Oh. Um, we I, I miss, little acts you can do. Yeah. I, but I just, I miss human interaction so much yeah. right now. I just want to hug somebody. Yeah, yeah, I definitely agree. I mean, we are energetic creatures. When you touch someone's hand, like I'm going to go kind of hippie on you, but that frequency and energy, I mean, that's the reason when you hug someone for, I, th I think they say over 30 seconds, your heartbeats start to sink. go in sync. Yeah. Yes. I'm like verbally connected with people, but I've noticed how much I am a social creature. You know, I, I work with people all day. And like, I, once I lost that human interaction, it really did send me into a a depression and I'm still trying to get out of it. I think a lot of people are adopting animals right now. Like the animals are getting the good love right now, the quality attention. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you're fostering an adopt animal, you rock. Yeah. Big shout out to Boogie Time LV. That's our, our girl Maite. Maite. As a dog rescue and right here in Las Vegas. So before we let you go, gorgeous, we want to make sure people know where to find you. And they want I need some booty bands. I need some booty bands. Girl, I got you. I got use, some, use some booty bands. Yes. <laughs> Michelle Davis fitness.com. In, man. Michelle knows what's up. This physique in front of me is just like goals. Boom. Exactly. Once my gym facility is back up and running, girls, I got a sassy boutique boot camp. I think the thing now I really want to emphasize is my gym is really small. Mm -hmm. It takes up to about five to seven people. So you get the quality attention. It's got mm -hmm. great machines. I have a great circuit training. Mm -hmm. So the Sassy Saturday boot camp class is 15 bucks a person. And the good community. And plus, like, you have started a 30 day challenge and that, like, holds everybody accountable, including yourself. Yeah. That's really smart that, you know, you did something like that. I worked out this morning and I was like, okay, I'm going to be leading it. I'm going to teach this little yoga thing that we're going to do together. And I had to get my ass out of bed and it felt good. But yeah, people holding you accountable to do things is really smart. Well, Michelle, you are just such a beautiful soul. But before we go, something silly and fun. You are stuck in a quarantine house with two people 
from the last show you watched, who are they? That's what the Tiger King or whatever. So it's that, that was mine too. <laughs> I was stuck. The lady who killed her husband, and then that crazy gay dude with the mullet who's drugging up all the guys having porn. So it's those people. Um, Fantastic. Um, I'm the only per- the last person to know. The Tiger King. <laughs> who are you uh, teaming up with in the Tiger King community? Carol Baskin. Yeah, I think she stole my heart. She's adorable. I Is love she the one that says she killed, killed her husband? Person. I don't think she killed her husband. I don't think she did. But the girl is like, I like how she looks at her new husband, who's quite a lot old, and she's like, handle it, lawyer. Handle it. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) You know he's whipped, because if you see their wedding photo, he's in like a toga, and she has him on a leash. I'm like, what are are those? (laughs) I've been telling MJ to watch it, because I'm like, just when you think it doesn't get any more Florida and redneck, it gets more Florida and redneck. (laughs) Aren't you started singing about her i was like he is like the most the level of petty he is is something i aspire to be (laughs) (laughs) if if this quarantine wouldn't be going on do you think tmz would do an insider scoop on this whole deal i don't think so what if the top 10 on netflix i don't think so i don't think i mean i think netflix would have released it and it would have been kind of a big deal but it would not be this without quarantine i was like why is everyone putting these filters of this lion dude tiger man and i and i looked and i just couldn't stop watching it's two in the morning i'm like (laughs) it's not what because you know what life is so weird right now like that's the most beyond the real life we're like you know what that's a life that i would never live or could imagine living so i can handle this right now you know this is normal to me i like this world (laughs) they're way weirder than this whole situation (laughs) is right now Yes, actually, I was the same way. I was like, I'm going to watch one. I'll watch like an hour or two. And right. then I was like, realized like four hours later, I was like, I'm not leaving the couch till I'm done. <laughs> like I only got three episodes left. And MJ, this is the level of petty he is. He wrote a song about his nemesis, Carol Baskin, oh killing her husband and feeding him to the tigers because he didn't like her. He wrote us, that's how petty he is. And I was like, why am I not that petty? It kind of broke my heart when I found out he wasn't actually singing and it was like, it's like a Millie Vanilli situation. Yeah, he's not singing those songs. I thought he was singing that. I was like, man, he's got a good voice. I know, you're thinking, you're like, he's writing some country jam. No. The Here Kitty Kitty song, the song he wrote. And then Um, they had her feeding meat to the tiger in a music video. I'm like, these people are twisted and I love it and there's something wrong with me. (laughs) <laughs> One of my really good friends is a burlesque dancer, so she's creating a burlesque routine to that song where she's going to come out dressed as Carol Baskin. <laughs> yes. Mark Wahlberg and his wife and their kid did like a whole Tiger King challenge dance off. You know the dance offs that are going off on IG now? Yes. So they did a dance that he was dressed as the dude, his wife was dressed as Carol, and I think their son was dressed as, I don't know who, but it's like they did a whole Tiger King challenge. Fantastic. I think on that note, we can't end on a happier note right now. (laughs) Now I'm watching it. That sold me. That's it. Yeah, it's it's on another level. You're on another level and we love you so much. And thank you for checking in with us. But you guys go back and check out the episode, Feeling Myself with Michelle Davis Fitness. What's your what's your IG? Michelle Davis Fitness. Have a great day. Yes. Love you. <laughs> you did Zoom. <laughs> I know, I figured it out. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Okay. Unstoppable. Leave meeting. I was like trying to touch screen it like it's a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? It's MJ. And Bree. You guys, we just got a huge present in the mail, and we want to give a big thanks to our sponsor, Like a Kitten. Their mission is to inspire women to explore, pamper, and love their selves. Yeah. So each quarter, you'll receive a beautifully packaged box that's themed for the season and includes at least one motorized toy and tons of goodies to mainstream masturbation. Staying in touch with your body is very powerful, especially when you aren't having sex. It keeps you feeling sexual. That's right. And if you're married, 
married or in a relationship, it's kind of your loophole to new sensations. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what you're going through in life, pleasure should never be neglected. Damn right. So we just received our sexy spring boxes. And you guys, they are curating a quarantine box at this very moment. Oh, they know. They're here for us. So I, I was curious what was some of your favorite stuff in here besides the incredible <gasps> butterfly kiss silicone vibrator. Oh my God. Yes. yes. The attention to detail in this box is amazing. They so send beautiful. you batteries that are <laughs> that have high heels on them. Yeah, it's called dead batteries. They have like quotes on the batteries. They're pretty dope. Yes, they are. <laughs> also, I am in love with the Eye of Love pheromone perfume. I know. You know how Brie loves her pheromone. She's always sharing with us. Plus, you guys, we got butt plugs, okay? And they're so sexy. They have like a little flower on the end. So that way it's kind of a surprise, you know, because you just put it inside and you prime. And then when it's time to get down, they're like, oh, is there a flower peeking out there? <laughs> <laughs> or we know MJ's going to give it to Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I actually am really excited to try the strawberry flavored lube. I know. They also have this Kissaboo tingly lip balm. It basically like tingles everywhere you kiss, but we can't give away all the secrets in the box. You're just going to have to get one for yourself because it, it's time to release your intersex kitten meow. Right meow. <laughs> <laughs> Go to likeakitten.com. Use code KEEPERS20 at checkout for 20% off of your seasonal subscription box. That is likeakitten.com. Use code KEEPERS20. They're waiting for you. Okay, I'm so shiny, I need to put a spritz. Who's next? What's going on? You know her from the episode Undisclosed Desires. It's, it's Sylvia! She's just thirsty for me. It's not a big deal. Oh, that is And me. I was just like, okay, I'm going to believe you, but I'm watching her ass too. You know what? I said the same thing to this guy mm -hmm. where I was like, you know what? You know, you're telling me that you guys are just friends. And Boys. like the whole time I had like this intuition that was like, something is wrong. Yeah, and, like, I would get this too. like this sick feeling in my stomach. Me yeah. too. Like, that's probably the hardest thing because when cheaters, it's like, you got to catch their fucking asses. But, never just but they make tell it, you. They make turn it around you and then make you seem crazy. Hey, Sylvia, how you doing? Let's just say I wore makeup for you guys, and it's been a while since I wore makeup like this. Same, and it's already <laughs> sweating off. <laughs> oh, no. You need to get that um, Urban Decay spray. Yeah, the all-nighter. I need to get my Mario Badasco just spray it on as we're chatting, which is great because we have questions about that for you because you are a glam queen. So yes. we'll get into okay. that. Sylvia okay. is currently still broadcasting on air in Las Vegas. So yes. how's that going? Going in daily and just trying to like play the hits and keep it light. Like, how's it going? Well, that's the thing. Like, I didn't want to go in talking about the coronavirus because I feel like everyone's been bom bombarded by it. Mm -hmm. You have social media, you have the TV, you also have radio. So when I go in, I just want to talk about music news. Um, if like a band is doing something that's pretty cool because of the coronavirus, if they're like releasing a song and like the proceeds are going to go to whatever foundation, whatever charity, mm -hmm. I'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. But as far as like deaths and things like that, I just, I can't. <laughs> I, I had to turn off the uh, the TV at one point because I started to get paranoid. Oh my God, I think I have the coronavirus. I have this dry cough. It's unproductive and my chest hurts and I'm really warm. And then I realized, oh, I worked out the day before. So my chest is sore from the workout. I had the heater on. So that's why I'm warm. I don't know. I, I have allergies. So that's yeah. where the cough from. <laughs> it's crazy all the anxiety that it's causing. And I have to just kind of check out of the news and I check in daily and just kind of get a little bit, but I can't start my day like that. And I kind of balance oh. from, if you have somebody who's into the news and you can go be like, can you fill me in on what's going on? And yeah, and I'll, I'll look at Twitter to see like the latest updates constantly, uh, you know, looking at the TV or like CNN or Fox News and all this misinformation. It's like, oh. And, well, and you know, Twitter has a lot of misinformation too. Well, it's like with Twitter, it's like these big hashtag trends will start. That kind of is like, okay, what's the hashtag trend today going on? But really, you just have to go to like world news and maybe figure it out there. So it's just a yeah. little unbiased. Have you seen just, just Twitter? Like they'll have like a random celebrity and you're like, oh no, they yeah. have it. The latest one I saw was like Shaka Khan. And I'm like, oh, Shaka. And like, nothing's wrong with, they're just, they're just like trending celebrity names just to like get it trending and like have people freak out or something. I know it's all ridiculous, but I, I, you know, we just, we really respect that you are part of the media and going in there and trying to be a little bit of escape, which is also what we're trying to do. You know, just being an escape, yeah. turn on the radio and just, you know, they're driving around. They just want to hear some fucking tool. 
when's a new album dropping so they can yeah. listen to it besides like all the drama so yeah, exactly. thank you for bringing it in your own special way like you do yeah yeah, yeah definitely yeah. so do you have a do you have a silver lining right now the silver lining for me well okay so i stopped going to the grocery store like actually driving to the grocery store mm -hmm. uh because again it's like the paranoia mm -hmm. so i uh downloaded the instacart app yeah. oh. and, and so <laughs> i've never shopped at sprouts before so i was like well someone's gonna do it for me yeah i'll just love try out sprouts uh, so that's been like awesome love sprouts. <laughs> my neighbor's because, doing like, instacart he's loving it. he's making tons of money he's loving it yeah oh nice nice yeah. yeah so like i'll i'll get my groceries there and i had a great experience and i tried a bunch of stuff it was great like that's a silver lining i don't have to go to the store but another <laughs> Time and one, money yeah and another one i've been working out like a whole lot now yeah Good for you. so like before all of this i was working out maybe like once twice a week mm -hmm. but like fuck, if i have all this time you know uh yeah. i'll work out like four times five times and it's like hell yeah man. <laughs> i would never have done this okay we're gonna need that productivity hack how do you like make sure you get it in we can all work out at home but the challenge is actually doing it because like i'm actually like seeing little results i'm like oh cool i want more of this this little okay. muscle here mm -hmm. so i'm gonna keep doing it you can show it off we're on video right now like this one right can, can you see it no yes yes little cuts you <laughs> comb in your hair you're like oh where'd that cut bro? right there right there yeah right there <laughs> Oh, oh, a photo. Oh. <laughs> see, see, I want to get on MJ's level. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get a poll, girl. <laughs> that's right. Like, I need to do that. That's that's the, the, pole, next, that's the, the poll's next. in the garage, guys. There it is, hanging. Out. <laughs> so, Sylvia, have you gone on any online shopping splurges besides your Sprout uh, <laughs> Instacarts? Oh, actually, I did. I actually got this shirt from American Eagle, and then mm -hmm. I, uh, I think that was it because I was like, I think I would be stingy for a little bit. <laughs> Good yeah, for you. Because, like, I haven't been stingy at all. I bought a French press for no fucking reason. Because everybody needs a French press. It's about the ritual. I love a French press. It's so important. <laughs> I was like, I have a coffee pot, but I like the way French press tastes. I bought a French press. Yeah. Oh, you know, good for you. Like, I'll, I'll do that. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, I went to Shein. Brie actually turned me on to that. The baby um, suits? I got lingerie. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> but the thing is, so I was trying to, like, I was trying it on, mm -hmm. and then and I, uh, I was trying to adjust it and then it went bump. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm trying to get for my $7 laundry. <laughs> I need my $7 laundry to work and be of quality. <laughs> it, was, it, it was $7 and I'm like, ah. Okay, that's I fine. Know. I got a shirt with Brie uh, okay. that says Cabrona Pero Cute. So yeah. I got the pink one and Brie, I think you got the green The one. army green one, yes. So yeah, we're the army green color. one. Because we decided that but, 2020 was our year of being Cabronas or Savage. Yeah. And then yeah. uh, we Kobe got, kind of put a little damper, but- I think it know, says whatever. Cabrona. <laughs> <laughs> starting to stand up for ourselves more and be more savage and like be like bam and then all of a sudden it was like you're not gonna be a bitch yet you're gonna stay in your house and you're gonna think about more of what you need to work on I'm like all right about what you've done <laughs> honestly savage is my favorite new jam by megan the stallion this podcast sponsored by megan the stallion <laughs> yeah we've had two megan the stallion episodes this story <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're all like at home and we're not putting on makeup as much. So what is your, how do you keep your beauty regimen? Like what's your favorite at home beauty prep right now? Coconut oil. Oh, what are you doing with it? <laughs> I put it on my hair, but I also put it on my face. And I've noticed that it's kind of cleared it up for me. But I also noticed before I was doing the coconut oil that it was starting to break out a lot. Mm -hmm. So I just, I was like, I thought putting on makeup was supposed to let my, my skin breathe and mm -hmm. be nice and glowy. No, it was breaking out. So I put the coconut oil and for me, it works. Like it makes well, my skin softer. Yeah. Like it gets more dewy or whatever. Good. Well, here's the thing with that is you went from wearing like face makeup every day and then you took it away. So any type of drastic change you do with your skin it's gonna react to it so that's probably why you broke out <laughs> no 
It's like oh, that yeah. Vaseline lotion stuff, that aquifer is just like the cure. I put that shit on my face and I was like, oh, I woke up all dewy and tight. I was like, oh, this is the new thing I'm putting on my face. <laughs> Another one that I, I really like is um, Shea Moisture. I don't know if you guys heard of that brand before. Yes. Um, but I think it's coconut oil. And I want to say argan, but it's like an, a, you put on like at nighttime. That's been like one of my go-tos as well. Cause okay. it's, it just keeps my skin like very I'm soft. And- I'm still swearing by products by the ordinary. I just bought a whole bunch on Ulta.com waiting for it to be delivered. Those are good, but they're cheapy too, right? It's professional grade products, but it's like six mm-hmm. bucks for a, like a hyaluronic acid. And I'm like, I love you all. I know. Well, we were talking last week. We were like, we never realized how much of an essential store like Sephora and Ulta are because like the stuff you get at Walgreens and Target and Walmart, it ain't cutting it. But I think we're all leaning in a little bit because when you want that shit, you want it now. One store that you've realized is as essential to you, but it's just not an essential right now. <laughs> Probably Sephora. But I mean, I could order it. I do shop online a lot for my clothes, mm-hmm. uh, but like restaurants. Yeah. That's essential for me. <laughs> yeah. I, I posted a meme that was like, I realized my hobbies are touching my face, going to non-essential stores and eating at restaurants. And I was like, <laughs> me too. I'm so non-essential. I'm just so extra. <laughs> yeah. Well, cause like my, like my go-to place, like anytime when like Brie wants to hang out, whatever, I'm like, let's go to California pizza kitchen yeah. because I love their sangrias. I love their bread. I miss it so much. I hate this virus. <laughs> we will survive you guys. We'll be back. And you know what? Um, I, I think music can move us a lot. So Brie, mm-hmm. you to ask her before we let you go. Since you are still on air, give us yeah. some of the top three rock songs right now. My top three, like if we're not playing it and they're old school, some of them okay. are old school. Okay. Uh, my Chemical Romance, Mama. <laughs> it's from the Black Parade. Bad Flower. The song is called Animal, which is a pretty savage song. Mm-hmm. And then the last one is from Heavy Young Heathens. Th- that song is uh, Sha La 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 La. Oh. Ooh. So none of these are new? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, what's the hottest new song playing on comp right now? But give us in a radio voice. <laughs> comp 92.3, the rock station. Do it. <laughs> comp 92.3, the rock station with Tool. I think it's Numa. Ooh. Ooh. I, think I think that's how it's, it's pronounced, Numa. Oh, I, I think so. <laughs> I think so. Who knows what Maynard does? He, he probably, it probably is actually pronounced that way. And then he's like, actually, it's Numa. Well, Sylvia, it has been great catching up with you. Oh, yeah. thank you. It's so good to see your pretty faces. So good to see you too. Can't wait to hug you. I'm <laughs> hugging you right now. Big hug, big hug. This is hug. This is my parent here. But also, you guys, go back and listen to Undisclosed Desire and just enjoy some Sylvia because she's just fabulous. You can hear around Las Vegas on comp whenever you get in your car to brave the world. You can also hear her on Rise to Offend and, and Metal Sex. Sex. Yeah. Those podcasts. Oh, yes. And then uh, give everybody your Instagram handle so they can uh, stop you instagram and twitter at it's the sylvia all right yeah. all right well, well, see you soon all thank right guys you. thank you Bye. 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 <laughs> Oh, good times. We hope you related. If so, let us feature you. Email us at feedback at keeping it casual podcast.com or show you're a keeper on Facebook. Like the keeping it casual page and join the group. Yes. Bonus. If you rate and review on Apple podcasts, you get into our monthly keeping it casual swag giveaway. It's the last Wednesday of every month. More hookups when you share us on your Instagram stories mm-hmm. at keeping it casual podcast. That's right. Find me anywhere socially at MJ Radio Diva. And I'm everywhere at Bremixed, B-R-E-E-M-I-X-E-D. Keep it casual. Bye. Bye.